Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Grey Ogri Pak experienced a horrific personal tragedy in the mid 1970s, leaving him and the rest of his family in mourning. Just a few years later, he teamed up with Frank Sinatra and turned to help people out when they were in need, and he would not accept any form of payment. Over the weekend on June 12, 2022, it was the 19th anniversary of actor Grey Ogri Pak's death, who died in 2003. The star was 87 years old at the time and died in his sleep from bronchopneumonia at his home in Los Angeles. His wife, Veronique Fasani, was by by his side. Before then, the actor had a long and varied life. He won the Best Actor Oscar for his portrayal of Atticus Finch in 1962's To Kill a Mockingbird. And he also appeared in such notable films as Moby Dick, The Guns of Navarone, Cape Fear, The Omen and the Boys from Brazil, to name just a few. The actor was very liberal and campaigned against the Vietnam War while remaining a patriotic supporter of his oldest son, Jonathan, who was fighting in that very same war. However, tragedy struck in 1975. Peck's son, Jonathan, died by suicide age. 31 years old. This death no doubt rocked the entire family, but Peck himself was particularly affected by this disaster. The actor didn't work for just over two years due to the grief he and his family felt. The National Inquirer also claimed Peck was checked into a psychiatric hospital. Peck returned to the public eye around 1980, and while he was certainly not over the death of his son, a tragedy he likely never got over, he began working again. In October of 1980, the Chrysler Corporation, the car company, had a dramatic decline in sales and stock, leaving approximately 6 lakh workers at risk of losing their jobs. In those days, the factory job would pay enough to support an entire family. So these 6 lakh potential job losses would have affected millions of people, including the children of their workers. Back met Chrysler's chairman Lee A. Lakoka in Detroit, Michigan alongside Frank Sinatra where they signed on as Chrysler Boosters with a contract. Pack agreed to appear on TV commercials adverts for the then new 1981K car compacts. He refused any payment for this work, using just his good name to promote the cars. He explained how he was extremely concerned about those affected by the job losses. Peck opened up the commercials by saying America is not going to be pushed around anymore. He said in a statement, there's the difference between good timers or hard timers of six lakh families. I told Mr. Lakuka I wanted to help. His goodwill and kindness almost pushed him into an even more unexpected job presidency. At the time, Ronald Reagan was having a surge of political success, so people started looking to Peck as the next person to step up to the place. California's Governor Pat Brown joked at one point, if they are going to run actors for governor, maybe the Democrats should have run Greg Pack. T-shirts and badges that read Vote for Pack began being made and sold throughout the country, half as pressure for the actor. But he didn't like the idea. Pack later said, I never gave a thought to running, not even in my heart of hearts. Do I have an ambition to do that? Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.